Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We got iron going. So in our last episode, tapped into the 12 million iron ore patch. Should last a while, and it is running. These two didn't get built because in the blueprint, that guy didn't get grabbed for whatever reason. So I fixed that. Everything's rolling now. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to have to touch that for a long time, uh, other than to maybe upgrade the modules. Even then, got 12 million, 12 million iron, who cares? Um, so yeah, uranium is the next big thing that we need to tap into. And I'm trying to think. Need more stuff in the network, I guess. Let's request, let's see. How about you request some of these doodads so that we got them. And we also would like to request, I think I'm missing something. Just thinking about it in the last, into the last episode. Um, can't remember now. Request some storage tanks. <laughs> smart notifications. Yeah, not so smart, are they? What's up, Spiflet? Um, yeah, I also prefer my technology to be dumb. Or, or if it has to be smart, let it be dumb smart instead of like, ooh, we have our own app that's connected to the internet and, you know, tells Samsung how much I use my oven. Like, just let me control it with Bluetooth from an app, you know? Like, it doesn't need to be crazy. Um... Yeah, I could talk about that kind of thing for a while. What was it that I needed? You need to do so in advance? What? I don't remember what I wrote. But you'll have to remind me what it says. Was it modules? Beacons? Didn't I already grab beacons? Let's see. Where's the one with all the buildings? Didn't I do one with all the buildings? Where did I do that? I should have done it all in the same place. I bet I didn't. Oh gosh. Now I have no idea where I'm requesting things. Was it all the way up at the front of the base? It probably was. Up here. The wall. Oh, we can tear down the Berlin, I mean, icy wall. Uh... Is it this? Aha, I have found it. Um, so we did do beacons, we did drills and I guess modules would be the thing. Gosh, talk about expensive orders. 300 modules, please. <laughs> Yikes. Um, ah, blue containerizers. That's going to be it. Let's do like 30 of those. Mr. Gorbach, I mean, Krydax, tear down this wall. Okay, so containerizers are going on somewhere. Where are they? Not there. Where did I do that? I honestly don't know enough of my history to engage properly in this meme. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to back out before I say something I regret. Um, I have no idea where I'm doing the red containerizers. You know, this is this is the downside to chaos spaghetti malls. Oh, here we are. Found it. Um, but I can't fit anything more in there, most certainly. So the blue ones, I need electric engines. It's mostly steel. I'll just build it near the steel belt. Oh, look, I found room. Look at this. I found a spot. Okay. 
So the reason it keeps playing the error message is it's picker tools interacting and it's trying to place it from my hand, but I can't because my reach isn't far enough. Kind of a weird interaction. All right, blue containerizer. Take off that request. They're kind of pricey. It's like no joke. Um, what am I doing for electric engines again? Nothing special, huh? Let's go ahead and get these going a little better here. Like with some prod and stuff. Man, I left a nice space for beacons, and then I ended up beaconing these two together, so I annoyingly can't do the regular engines. I do that a lot, I feel like. Like, I end up two wrongs, or two rights make a wrong, I think. That's kind of how I did that. Two rights make a wrong. Okay, uh, I do need the module inserter. Can those be put in a blueprint? No, they can't. No, they cannot. Okay. So that's good. Um. That's the tier three containerizers figured out. How's the uranium tracks, train tracks coming? Hey, we've made it most of the way there. Nice. Oh no, it, 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 okay. I fixed this issue, didn't I? Did I not? Oh, it's in the T junction that it's not. I think I only fixed it for the straight junction. Hold on, let's double check. I thought, did I not fix it for both? Oh look, it's fixed. Right there, you can see the power poles are all correctly organized. This one's still wrong? What? What? What is this? I fixed that. I swear I fixed it. I fixed the spacing too. Is the spacing still wrong or something? 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Okay, the spacing's right, but this, this is wrong. Weird. I swear I fixed that. Huh. Okay. Well. We've now fixed it twice, so that should be good enough. I've never heard of needing to fix something three times. The landfill, oh goodness, thank you. So annoying to do all this. You know, it's amazing, like, Factorio is such an amazing game. And it seems like a perfect game, but then there are so many little ways that things are still annoying. It's actually incredible how many annoyances there still are, given how perfect the game is. Okay, so then we copy it uh, again. And we hold shift, and then we click, and then... And to be fair, some of it is modding's fault. Like, we're doing modded things, and that's part of the problem. Um, no, I'm still doing it wrong. Now we gotta do water. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I got there eventually. Don't worry, y'all. I won't say what that looks like. Um, yes, we have seen that we live... We don't live in the future. Factorio 2.0 is gonna fix so many things for us. Okay. 
unselect the water, and now we're good. Jeez. A pain in the butt. Okay. Pain in the butt complete. Problem is fixed. Hopefully the bots can stop doing stupid things now. Build that myself. Need centering. Oh, God. At least that one I can do from here. Uh, zero, I think. Yeah. And are you still 56? You are. No, is that right? 55. Definitely not that. Yeah, no. Well, shoot, now I can't tell. Is it 57 or 56? Oh, it's got to be 56 because it's got to be even. There we go. It is very handy to have backseat blue printers. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> uh, okay, repaste those because constantly screws up stuff. And there we go. It only takes an hour for the bots to fly all the way there and all the way back. But we should be able to start setting up our uranium mine, which needs sulfuric acid, which we're already providing. And then we, what do we need to do? To process it. We need the centrifuges, which just do their thing. And then that's pretty much it. And I provide the shiny rocks. I'm just gonna do this again. I, I don't think it's worth doing anything different. Um, and as far as whether I should recycle the other things or not. I'm talking such a small amount. A quarter of an iron for every 10 uranium. So if I process a million uranium, well, let's scale it up first by 100. So, for a thousand uranium, I'll get 25 iron. So a million uranium is only 25,000 iron, which is basically nothing. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna. Okay. Yeah, exactly, these flip lit. When I plan my own, no one notices my mistakes. Not even me. That's the neat part. You just don't. I love that meme. These plate. Eh, let's go vertical. All right, uranium mining. Right, that's per one million uranium ore, not per one million used uranium. But still, like, the ore is relative to the ore in terms of iron. So I would need one million uranium ore to get me. 25,000 iron ore. So, I should compare those directly, I think. Okay, so that's done. I actually am regretting my decision, and I'm gonna mark all that for deconstruction and change this to a T junction. Because then I'll have one for the coal and one for the uranium. And then we're gonna landfill right here. Make sure that's done. I do need, kind of annoying, but I do need the deconstruction for only spider creep. I'll just do a little bit, like right there. I guess I don't need another one up there. Okay, I'll put one there, call that a day. A belt of 238. It's uh, a quarter belt of iron you're throwing away, is that true? Maybe, I don't know. It's just, uh, <sighs> look, at the end of the day, recycling is great and you should do it in real life, but in Factorio, it's more work than it's worth when you're dealing with such small numbers. I'd rather just mine 
another 25,000 iron and then deal with recycling the iron from uranium processing. I think that's all there is to it at the end of the day. I should probably play some buffer chests. This is a spot where buffer chests could be useful. <laughs> so these construction bots don't have to fly all the way. Um, I don't think I've ever used buffer chests before in my entire factorial career for this particular usage, which is actually what they're used for. This is their main intended usage, and I'm finally, I'm finally using them for that. Okay, so we're gonna place buffer chests. Actually, I think I'm gonna put them all the way up here. I don't need four, why am I putting four? Um, and then those in storage, so then the bots will construct those after five ever. Okay, so that's good. What else are we doing? Ooh, I need some charging in this area. Oh, you know what I could do is robot battery. Robots get more battery upgrades. Still a ways away, but it's only blue. It's only up through blue. Robot battery 40% more? Heck yeah. How does that work? How does it upgrade the battery? I didn't think battery could be upgraded live. Like, what happens to bots that are in flight? Do they get a higher max, but no more current? Do they get... Does it get scaled up? So if they currently have half the battery, they still have half the battery, but now it's more? I don't actually know. Uh, Aylor, that's a good question. I just wanted to use LTN. I don't know. I'm lazy. Which, we've already pointed out multiple times that true laziness would have been actually um, using vanilla trains. <laughs> In this case, LTN has made more work than it's worth, but it's fine. Okay, so then we've got those going. Let's set up the processing area, which is this. Mostly, uh, we'll modify it a, a smidge. I keep hitting M to go into map mode when I'm already in map mode. Turns out that's completely unnecessary. Okay, so I'll plop these down. Not sure if it's enough. Maybe I'll do three. Substation, substation, substation. Upgrade everything. Does this do upgrade planners? I think it does. What is it on for these? What is that? Okay, that one's the upgrade planner. Weird that it shows the picture of that rather than a green upgrade planner symbol like doesn't show the icon for the upgrade planner um you just increase their maximum i mean that would make sense is that actually how it works though is what i don't know there's a big gap between what would make sense and how things actually work unfortunately often that gap occurs Okay, so those can process 21 ore. Okay, so I need a little bit more than that. Um, already did one more. I don't know how quick these will mine ore either. So for now, these, I'm just gonna put a one belt of the iron.
Okay. Wonder how many things you can have to upgrade. How many upgrade? Yeah, that's a good question. What can you upgrade with technology? Um, I'm pretty sure you can't do uh, assembler speed because that's part of the prototype definition. Because things that change assembler speeds require game restarts. You know, when you have like mod configuration stuff. <laughs> okay, so then this needs the sorting nonsense, which we can just mostly copy. Sort of. I don't know about this landfill thing. That's kind of annoying. I'm not going to deal with that. Um, I did it again. Oh my. Oh, these poor little bots with their low energy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so then this. I'll leave space for more. order I don't know over here you know what would be nice that I'm surprised I've never heard anyone talk about is night vision for map view why is that not a thing it's kind of annoying to map view in the dark why don't we have night vision for map view or do we and I'm just silly um, all right, I have no idea how many crushers we need. So let's go to the dang it. Didn't really do this in a way that leaves me with the right kind of space. Maybe I'll put this this way. Nah, I'll just put it over here. <laughs> and then the containerizer will just be over here for the uranium. then that means I can do the crushing up here. Ooh, look at us flipping things. Crush, and then we unload what we crush. It is annoying you can't Bob's adjustables on a blueprint. I think if I do this, I can build them that way. No, even that doesn't work. To wait until they're actually placed or I have to copy one that's already selected properly see a swiplet yes thank you may the train network forever compete in size anyway I just feed that back into itself I'll extend those once they get built this guy There, what was this? I don't know what that was. What was that? Oh, that was just merging the two. Yeah, and Maz, the uh, music selection is from an artist, well, artist, a uh, collection of artists called Low Wave Records. Highly recommend. Wait, what? 
Oh, that's the deconstruction planner. Weird. Okay, so the decon planners and the upgrade planners look the same. That's kind of risky. Oh, look. There goes a bunch of biomass. Um, there goes a bunch. Speaking of biomass, I need to remove even more of it. Where that connected to a power pole before. Maybe not. Okay, so they're working on the landfill. They're working on all that. This is the thingy. Now I need to build the things. I need something like this. To build planes. That's fine. Oh my god. Just stay in map mode, Crydax. Stay in map mode, please, for the love of all. Okay. This is the completed product. Containerizer. That'll be here. This feels a bit superfluous. Could just insert directly from the chest. There we go. Will that run into issues? Uh, I can't remember which one runs into issues. Is it both? No, no. Loaders will load past what inserters would normally insert. And this one is the instant one to insert just a single container. So that's fine. Um, I'm gonna build some storage chests up here, just to have them. Looks like I have not requested centrifuges into this network. That is correct. So, you, you my friend. Get you some centrifuges. Okay. We're doing great. Look at them go. Now I can extend these. Oh, you can't? What? There we go. Oh, substations too. Goodness. Basically, I have a whole freaking base over here. Might as well just never build anything back home again. Okay, if I don't stay in map mode, I'm gonna freaking scream. Ah! I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, well, I guess I didn't really leave space for the liquids. Did I now? What we can do, the secret hidden tech of, uh, whatchamacallit? Advanced fluid handling. Connect it like that. Crazy, I know. And then, which one requests the sulfuric? Does it even matter? Didn't I configure them both the same way? I'm gonna say it was this one, though. 
I also just realized I don't have pipes in the network. Just like regular old pipes. Um, I didn't stay in map mode. Deep breaths. All right, I'm gonna hydrate. Drink some water. Stay in map view. Don't click the M hotkey if it's the last thing you do. Staying in map view. Look at me go. Okay, that's all gone. It's amazing how fast they get stuff done even when they're halfway across the galaxy, it seems like. Um, let me paste this again. Rock is in the way. Oh, your face is in the way. Ah, that screws this crap. Okay, and we're also going to need LTN. I just realized I never deleted those uh, measuring belts. Okay, so now I do want to hit him. That was on purpose. I forgot why already, though. Oh, I just needed a couple more. I feel like I'm starting to overload this guy. Let's get a second one going. Which means I need to craft one. I'm out of iron? What the heck? How does that even happen? Where's my hovercraft? Yeah, I need uh, LTN stops and I need lamps. And I need, who knows, probably some other things. I'm coming over here to grab some iron. But now these buffer chests are going to request from each other. Oh, that's ugly. Is that how that'll work? Ugh. Well, they shouldn't request from each other. But they will request from active providers. So it's only a problem if I put this stuff in active providers. So we're still fine, actually. <clears throat> we're still fine. We're still fine. Um... What was I going to do that? Oh, I needed to put, uh, I just have these random storage containers everywhere where I've dropped off random crap that I didn't want. Like those. So now they can get built. Two of them. Why are two getting picked up? I don't remember placing two of these. Okay. We didn't need three though. Yay, better robot battery. You can't remember if I fixed the iron for the containers. Uh, I need more specificity. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are so few of these running? Ah, my dirty water. Thought I had fixed it, but I had not. The left side is backed up because... Oh, it's missing both of these. The blueprint was missing this one and this one. That's why that wasn't working. The steel from the almost... Oh, you're right, you're right, yeah. Yeah, because I'm making steel for containers from iron, which is coming from the iron patch that is emptying out. 
So that means long term, I need to take iron from over here and put it over here. Or alternately, um, just make containers, you know, up here where the iron's actually showing up. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do. So weirdly, this is that. Or, uh, no, you can't just make, I was gonna say, or I could just make the containers up by the iron mine, <laughs> but I can't do that because you need coke for steel, which is coal, which is annoying. Um, I'll worry about that in a minute. Probably. Okay, we need pumps, we need steel chests. So pump, I don't think I'm making pumps anywhere. Uh, I need assembler, search for that ass, assembler that is. Um, we can just do 50 and I need chests and I need something else that I was just looking at oh LTN stops probably like 20 and LTN combinators oh I thought that was my music I have an alarm going off here or icy island power. Okay. Let's fix that. Power crisis. I could do nuclear, or I could just add more petroleum. Okay, what's going on here exactly? Is it a lack of crude oil? No, it is not. And this still has all old moduling. So let's uh, freshen up the modules here. And get some beacons going. Of course, they don't fit. It's so annoying. Um... They should fit somewhere, but they just don't. Really obnoxious. I needed to space them out by one more. Uh, you know what? Space them out by one. up now this is where we're gonna run into issues um, ah. wait a second How does, where does that oh right 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 Stop that, you get rid of your light oil, you connect so that you're heavy oil and not water. And then you, my lightest of oil friends, can then reconnect. And then the, 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 the petroleum. How is that still in the right spot? Didn't that one not be in the right spot? 
No, 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 that one moved down when I moved it all down. And then the light oil needs to connect. I don't know where I had that connected. Here. Shoot. Fair enough. And there it all goes. Okay, um, we've lost power, my friends. <laughs> hey, I don't need your sass. Okay. I might as well get this fixed while we're sitting here powerless. Wind turbines. Wind turbines suck. That's what about them. Seriously, they're like, you would need such a massive field. I would do solar long before I do wind turbines. Um, I'm still not sure if I connected these properly. Let's actually use the tool that exists to help us discover if these are connected properly. Yeah, heavy oil is good. Water seems good. And the light oil seems good. And the petroleum seems good. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, you were kidding. Okay. Couldn't tell. Um, okay, so yes. Now on to actually fixing the base's power. What we want to do is disconnect. I think we're already dis... Does that go all the way? Does it really? Okay, we need to undo that and undo this. And I need for a second only the power generator to supply power to the power generator. Oh, no, it's fluid going that way, not power. Okay, now... Why are you not running? I was running for a second. Probably just enough to power the old beacons. Let me remove the beacons for a second. For once, I'm going to use uh, efficiency modules here. Good thing is, got 100 solar panels in my back pocket. You know, as one does. As one does. Okay, so we'll get those running, a couple more ticks, get the power spun back up here. There we go. Okay, get the beacons placed. Back to prod. throw the basis power back on the system. Oh, that's a substation, not the right kind of power. Oh, well. Ah, 1.2 gigawatts. Good gravy. I see the issue now. Um... Part of me really wants to make this better, part of me really doesn't care, because if I just add more, I'll be fine. So, there's, there's some conflicting uh, values going on here, for sure. Part of me says, you don't need to fix it if you just add more power. And I really want to listen to that part of me. Oh, so I think I will. We'll need to request power stations, though. Okay, let me actually get the power. Uh, 
Yeah, solar accumulators is nice. For sure. This connects like show. I really need to keep things connected, otherwise my whole everything will die if I'm not careful. I'm hoping we can, yeah, re-get to mostly powered here. Um, might need more fineries. I'm not really sure what I need more of. So those are running. We should back up on light oil probably. No, I'm not sure. Maybe with these beacons we won't. I don't know what the rate is now. 280, which is 240 plus the heavy oil cracking. Yeah, we're gonna back up on light oil. Or maybe heavy oil. 100. Yeah, kind of both. Uh oh, oh no, that's good. We finally got to power. Whew, that was close. Okay, um, so, to fix these problems, we shall... I don't know where the speed modules are. Use more power, that's how we fix it. No, um, the issue is gonna be crude oil now. That's where we want to go on. So this will fill up to 200,000 crude oil, and we gonna have a speaker. You know, I should just craft multiples of these because we're gonna have all sorts of times to panic in the future. We already know that that's true. Um, and rather than the alarm being on the petroleum end of things, we'll have it be on the, no, this is stupid. No, what am I doing? The oil end of things is correct. We want to keep that way that it is. Um, I don't remember why that was a top up. Oh yeah, the lubricant factory needed it to be that way. In fact, we should probably build up some more um, thinking about it. Because eventually we're going to be doing a lot of titanium. Okay, and I'll make that actually like 35,000. I mean, all three of those. Okay. Um, so that'll just be blinking until we have enough, which is what we want. And finally, I need to connect uh, Robo Construction Area over here. And then we need to request in the nearest buffer chest. Feels weird to request it here, but it works. Gas turbine. 30. And it worries me that we're not seeing the plane pop up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is it possible that I'm overloading our one little airport over here? Yeah, there it goes. It's definitely possible that I'm overloading the airport. Okay, how much more power will that be? 24 times four and a half megawatts. That's another 100 megawatts. Just have to keep an eye on it, I guess. Okay, and let's fix the iron, and then that'll be the last thing we do in the episode. So this is the... It's the easiest way to do this. You know what? Look. We have bots. Let's use them. The easiest way to do this is to go over to our iron... Are you iron? You are iron plates. Okay. Um, wow, this is emptier than it's supposed to be. Did this not connect? No, that was connected. Okay, something's gone wrong. Because this should be requesting an iron train and getting it. So... Ah, the debugging. Aylor, if you say anything about LTN, I swear. I swears. Uh, request threshold 10. I'll put signals. Ha! <laughs> I never requested iron. Okay, well that's that's not even a complicated problem. There's nothing to do with LTN. You run into that same problem with vanilla. All right, well that should do it. Should be an in transit soon. freaks me out. Oh, here it goes. And we should see it pop up in the shipments thing. No? Weird. Why does it not show us in transit? Oh, you have to hit refresh. Okay. I see. There it is. Wait, 40? Uh-oh. How does that have 40? Oh, because there's two. It made two orders for it. Okay, I was like, what? Trains can only carry 20. <laughs> Started to freak me out. I'm pretty sure trains only carry 20, right? Uh, Yeah, five each. Okay. It's like, since when can trains carry 10 containers? My whole world is shattered. No, we're good. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is simply, I know this seems ridiculous, but I'm going to uh, iron, no, this is a problem. This doesn't work. Stupid buffer chests from the airplane mod or whatever it's called, container drones, because I was gonna just decontainerize and have logistics bots carried around. But the problem is all those stupid buffer chests that are requesting iron are also gonna request iron from this, which is fine, because wouldn't I rather request it from this than require planes? Okay, never mind. I've convinced myself it's fine. Uh, we are going to get empty containers, so maybe I should do this a little further down. Uh, wait, what the heck? Uh, 
Oh, I really didn't set this up. We never even set up the, the chain filter for it. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to prioritize... Oh, no, we don't need priority. We need priority here. Priority left. And we have a single decontainerizer right here. Just with a couple containers. And then that unloads into a passive provider chest, which will supply buffer chest, which I'm okay with. Iron plate unload. I'll do one of these things. Let it go full. The filter out. Oh, God. Um, needs to do empty containers, which get thrown onto, I think, I think this belt container over here. Is that the right belt? Follow it down. Follow it down. Follow it down. Yes, that's the one that gets prioritized. And you only go if it's less than 200. That's definitely less than 200. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Provided. And now the rest of you would need to get to the iron one, which is, wait, oh, that's titanium. Where's the iron one? Which one of you is iron? Is it the second one, the third one? Well, that's a container return, that's copper. This is iron. Right here. Okay. So, uh, of course. Well, of course, my inventory is too fat and full. Okay, so then this is the output of the one that goes to the iron boat. Done. Okay, a little chaotic for a second there, but that'll do it. I don't know why I had that tail on some of these. Okay, so that'll fill up until all these are full, and then it'll finally read that we have the proper amount of iron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You still don't like multi-item stations? Yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I think I probably will do it a little more carefully when I do kind of dawns, because that kind of matters long term. This one was simple enough that I kind of cut corners, and it is obvious. Um, we're still missing 18 gas-powered stations. Really? Why is that? Has the plane just not gotten here yet? That was forever ago that I requested those. Oh, they're not in the logistics network. Okay, there we go. Um, so that fixes that. Then we need to do pump crafting. Oh man, the spaghetti mall is just jam packed, isn't it? Okay, we can do pumps there and LTN stops and LTN Combinators over there somewhere. Provider, requester. Um. Check. Eight. Two stacks because they're cheap. And then over here because it just seems closer to the train stuff. I mean, it doesn't seem closer, it is closer. Uh. Quest provide three stacks of LTN stops. What is it actually called? Oh, logistic train stop. Oh no, it needs all these things. Gross. 
Um, okay, well, at least the constant combinator doesn't, right? Right? Or, I mean, the LTN combinator. That's a little better. Okay, so we need a couple couple bonus bonus things here. Is it was it four things? I didn't even count. One, two, three, four. We need green circuits, red circuits, constant combinators, and probably something else. Cable. Nope. Wire? Sorry, wire. Red wire, green wire. What else was it? Lamps? I already did lamps. Oh, regular train stops. Which also needs sticks, which may or may not be in the network. Um, we'll get that done. Bar limit one. I wonder if that works properly from this interface. We're about to find out. The answer is no, it did not. And you're gonna be sticks, and you need to grab from there. Okay, so there's that, and then that should give me everything I want. And then we need LTN combinators requested on this island, which I don't remember if I did or not. Plus LTN train stops. Did I do that over here yet? I thought about it if I didn't do it. It looks like I did. Go me. And I did pumps. Okay. Cool. Sweet. So that's done. We have iron officially hooked up and being shipped off to the base. We fixed a power problem ish, which should be mostly actually done being fixed now because we actually built the things and I'm going to build some more. What's the flow? When am I going to run into flow rate issues? 12 times 5 is 60 a piece. Total flow rate, we're looking at 400. We're still fine. What I'm gonna do is paste that. And just keep that going. So we'll get even another 100 megawatts there. And I think with that, we shall call it an episode. With uranium mining, not done, but uh, yeah, we had to take a detour on this. But we're getting there. Power solved for now. Other issues solved. Progress continuing to happen. Robot batteries. Better. Better bot batteries. And yeah. Okay, well. As always, for those of you on YouTube. As always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.